Is this even possible? Is what I'm hearing even happening? Like, this is absolutely insane. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Forever Here. I hope that you are all doing well. So just last week, in one of my videos, I can't remember which one, I was talking about SB19 changing up their set lists for performances and that it would be quite nice if they reintroduced, reintroduced some older songs and that at some point we might not hear a song for quite a while, if ever again. And I was referring to Niebe and I am absolutely wrong about that because I saw a glimpse of the sound check on X and they are performing Niebe right here. Now, I don't want to start off my week by crying, but for the boys and for Niebe, absolutely, let's do this. I have my little friend at hand, um, just in case. But in terms of other songs that they're going to perform, they will probably perform Gento because she is that song. Um, and they'll probably perform Mapa because even if you're not an 18 yet... You will be, but um, most people know MAPA, and uh, it's re a really nice way of bringing all of the festival go goers together. So it's quite funny because sometimes you say to me that, are you sure you didn't get a sneak peek at the set list, or uh, you didn't see a glimpse of this a performance before, etc.? Because sometimes I make predictions and they come true, but at other times I make predictions and they are absolutely false. In the case of Nyabe, I honestly didn't think they were going to perform this for a very, very long time, but I'm really glad that this song is important for them to perform because this is my most favourite SB19 song. And every single time they perform it, I go back to that very first time that I heard it and how it made me feel and how it still makes me feel. As always, I am that excitable puppy. I am really looking forward to watching this and please can we watch this together. So this is SB19 at the Mascara Festival Concert 2024 and uh, let's enjoy this together. Let's start off our week the right way. Did I say already that if you were to have a look at the description below, you would see a link to the original upload? I can't remember! Oh, maybe I did see a little glimpse of their outfits. Wasn't it still wearing like a, a really light kind of thing, like green or beige? Like a check shirt or something? Maybe. I really love that intro. <laughs> oh, they're just so handsome. I saw that girl. I did see that. It's Ghetto. <laughs> I know what their stage positions are like for Ghetto now. <laughs> we watch their stuff so much, you can just guess it, can't you? You can make an educated guess. <laughs> Oh, that was super bouncy, JC. <laughs> Where is he? What is he wearing? I love this outfit on Jar. Oh my gosh, this fan cam is amazing. I'm 
I'm sorry, I'm seeing these beasts on stage, but I'm suddenly, I saw Ken's face and I was suddenly reminded of where I have seen these outfits before. On their broadcast channel, didn't they post photos of each other, like with edited faces or something like that? And I saw Ken and I was suddenly reminded of that. So I have seen these outfits before. But yeah, I was reminded of that. This is the thing. Comedians, beasts. Like it's, it's neck and neck. <laughs> Yes, Ken. He looks fluffy. Is Ken really wearing a jumper? Like, it's hot. Crinkly trousers. Clearly. and I'm grinning like an idiot. <laughs> yes. Is it the traditional end? difficult at this point to look at like one particular person or even look at all of them like what are you supposed to do jeez gento really is the queen hey, yo, what's up? I love how they dress so appropriately for a festival. They're not in like all sorts of glitter and glitzy stuff. It just works what they're wearing. Ken is really reminding me of I don't even know what he looked like when he sang that you know that Shania Twain song you're still the one 
I can't remember what he looked like when he sung that. But you know, there was like a whole like almost like a fan made music video for that. Uh, I'm looking at him and he's looking really dreamy like that. I think it's the fluffy hair. I love what he's wearing. And that's why uh, for you guys to make. This is cute. This is so cute. They're all so flirtatious with each other today. What is going on? Josh Cullen? Did they have a little row? I'm just playing. Next one I want to know. I hope you like this one. Yeah. You can be sure that Mama is going to be performed. Aren't a speaking voice, Ken? <laughs> Before we even get into this, it's so funny because if I ever get the opportunity to see SB19 in real life, of course I'm looking forward to listening to their songs and singing along and feeling the wave of emotions that we always feel when we listen to their songs. However, it's so much more than that. I want to hear them talk to us. I want to hear them show off their personalities. Like there's so much more to love than just the songs that I actually look forward to every little thing, every little detail. Like I was watching uh, them dance just then in Gento and I was watching the hand movements in like even the way that they perform, the kind of posture that they take on, uh, I'm just so like, I don't know, I notice it. So I'm really looking forward to being able to see it in real life. It's just like really silly little things, but it's so exciting. <laughs> So nervous. Gosh, their voices sound richer than they've ever sounded very much but still is very much pointing to a specific place with family members here too somebody is over there that he is pointing to by actual angels this is absolutely insane i mean i get so swept away when jc raps his bit in this because i love it so much it's always so emotional and really like soft and gentle goes so nicely with his voice type and then ken comes in equally as emotional but like this big wave like their voices could not be more different but that like level of emotion is exactly the same the intensity is the same it's just displayed in different ways and i just find that so wonderful like we really hit the jackpot with them. Pablo 
Pablo really monitors everything, doesn't he? You see him looking around. times have we heard this song and it still chokes me up. This won't be a cry fest because they're in good spirits today. They're quite smiling. This might be a different sort of nieve, a happy nieve. What do you think? Oh. Oh my gosh. Justin is such a wave, just like Ken. Pow is feeling this. Is what I'm hearing even happening? Like, this is absolutely insane. But I think I'm talking about Stow here specifically, but actually, when Ken opened his mouth, I felt pretty much the same way. Stow's voice this year has opened up even more. The best gets better with a question mark. Like, is that actually physically possible? <laughs> Somebody needs to study the graph of SB19 because what I am hearing right now, I'm in, I'm in disbelief. Like, really? How did that happen? How is this actually what we are listening to today? Seriously, Stell's voice has opened up more this year.
not fair <laughs> that this song exists. Oh, wow. Still change that up a little bit and that was gorgeous. Listening to it now, it kind of all falls into place. I guess like Pablo wrote this song at a difficult point in his life. And even when he sang it to us, I can't remember if it was a TikTok live or if it was an IG live, but uh, he sang it to us and he envisaged that it was going to sound a certain way and they recorded it and it's just absolutely glorious. However, of late, they have definitely, I don't know, they stepped up or their voices have all kind of changed around the same sort of time. And uh, I think it's got something to do with all of them going out there and being solo artists. And now when they come back and they sing Nieve, and it sounds fuller and richer than it has ever, ever sounded. And it sounds more personal. And this is the vision that Pablo had when he first wrote this song. And it's only just come to shape like it's only just taken its final form if you see what i mean and that's quite a lot to deal with like hearing it like this through their current voices i thought it was going to be a happy nebe to begin with but i was very wrong <laughs> from the moment that ken opened his mouth in the beginning so much pain and just so many questions you know and it's just ugh. I don't even think I need to explain as to why it's my most favorite SB19 song. We are so glad that we are so overwhelmed to meet you guys, family. Um, 
have a good form of that. That's why I think your goal so much. That's opportunity. Na mabag perform para sa inyo. It's in and of course mga tao na nandito ngayon sa paligid at sa mga tao din ako sa buwan sa ibang mga 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 perform. Maraming maraming salamat. What's this playing in the back? I'm sorry, Ken. I'm listening. Ayun, I'm sorry. There's something to say. Oh, is this like a tribute? Oh, boys. Thank you, SB19. Thank you, SB19, for inspiring us with your music and positivity. Palangga ka mo naman dito sa bakala. Please, I'm really sorry. Do not, don't let me focus on this song because I'll be. A blubbering mess. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> that was so nice. Isa na talaga mas sabi ko talaga. AC, you guys are the best. Isa na talaga mas sabi ko yan. Ano? <laughs> I'm sorry what I'm, I'm sorry what did they just attempt to do the move but incredibly badly only SP19 <laughs> try again <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, my tears have not even dried from Nebe, and you were doing this. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking food? Why not actually? Congratulations for the success of the Blue Gold Sari Sari Store as Caravan and Concert 2020. Yes, it's a what is Paolo looking for? You have to do it. 
Maskara! Oh, yun na kasample na eh. Gusto yun na sample? Kailangan magsitayo kayo. Gusto yun na sample. Yun! Yeah. <laughs> Tapos, pagkatayunin nyo, kailangan sumayo kayo. Okay ba yan? Kasi itong susunod na kantay namin, so siguraduhin namin lahat kayo sa asayaw. Okay ba yan? Oh, sige, for our next song. Alam nyo na siguro yun doon. Let's all sing! Bazinga! Bazinga is such a festival favorite. Dance break, please. Come on. I want to go to the party. back. Yes, it looks good for the full stage. They are honestly so grown up. <laughs> they look like men now. It's so weird. Don't watch the Bazinga music video and it's so weird. <laughs> They're babies there. jumper because then you keep getting like little hints of belly. <laughs> Like if W3 were also on stage, it's not gonna happen. What a shame, boys. Yeah, oh my gosh, W3 are killing it. chill version of Bazinga. The choreo was a little lighter. dangerous
Yes. Again. I'm going to go back and watch that again. Watching them dance so, like, up close is so crazy. I have really struggled to look at anybody else apart from Ken. There's something about that outfit and the hair and everything and it's just fabulous. how they echo Stella's bit there. liking about everything all the technical stuff right here is that you can actually really hear their voices like sometimes with crimson i feel like it's quite a noisy song it's meant to be that hype song and especially like during this bit uh, i don't always get to hear stell like it sounds I, I know what stell is singing rapping but i don't actually get to hear his live voice i don't know how to explain it but right there i felt like i actually heard him live you know he's got like a little nasal part uh, to his voice and uh, i really really heard it there like uh, with these fan cams i'm getting closer and closer to actually hearing them in real life and all throughout i feel like i'm getting real real voices yeah listen to still here <laughs> One more, please, one more. I don't know about you, but I felt like they had a really different mood today. Like they were a lot brighter, they were a little bit chill. I don't know how far away this place is, uh, but I, I don't know if it was the travel and it just kind of like, you know, sometimes you just need that extra bit of time and you just end up being chill. Like sometimes traveling can be really tiring and strenuous and at other times it can actually work wonders for you and i just felt like they seemed really really relaxed like the whole performance not that they weren't on their a game and not that they weren't giving their like two billion percent but it, they just seemed super relaxed i don't know again if perhaps the audience were like really inviting and it's the warmth of the whole place but they this was different i got a, a really different crimson here that i was expecting and even bazinga that was a real mellow version of Bazinga and I, I really like that you know they kind of adapt themselves to wherever they're going it's not the same old same old not just vocally or like presentation wise but definitely like it really depends on their mood as well and I just felt there was like chill in the air <laughs> and they were just so relaxed they just seemed I don't know like something a big burden on their shoulders has just disappeared that's the kind of feel that I got from this it was wonderful like they emoted they gave us like 
power when we needed to. They gave us attitude when we needed it. Uh, they were joking around with each other, interacting with 18, and it was just all sorts of fabulous. I feel like they're in the Muscara festival spirit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't quite explain it. Maybe in like months to come, we'll find out that around this time, something behind the scenes, like a real breakthrough happened. And which is why they ended up in this sort of a mood. But I haven't seen them like this in a long time. I'm really, really grateful that they're going around performing all of their wonderful songs and that we get to hear some of the bangers, some of the old hype songs and some of the new and I don't know about you hearing it as much as you know I love Pug the Dog, I was thinking, oh, we could do with a new song or two. We could be, you know, very soon be under that whole promotion wing <laughs> where they could be going out and promoting a whole new album perhaps. Please do talk to me about this entire set. Yeah. Just really chill. Really, really chill. I really enjoyed that. Like, I felt like I kind of absorbed some of that mood from them. I can't wait to read all of your comments about this. And if you were lucky enough to see them, how was the atmosphere there? Like, were there many 18 that had not succumbed <laughs> to SB19 yet? Uh, people that were 18 that didn't even know it yet. Uh, were there many conversions? And, like, I, I couldn't really tell, even from the sound. The sound was fantastic, focusing on the boys, so I got to hear them. I couldn't really tell, like, the size of this place. Was it really that big? How many people were there? Uh, was this one of the big, big events? I really look forward to reading your comments, and thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope that you had fun, and until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe.